uh, and the World Cup was decided on non-refereeing decisions. Let's go through some of them. Yeah, you're right, they're non-refereeing decisions. Now, there is, that is a penalty. There is no way Woodcock there has hold of that ball. Look at Richie McCaw off his feet, still playing the ball. And what we're saying is it's got to be fair for both sides. Now, this is the big one. Watch Kieran Reid. Watch Kieran Reid. Comes offside just now. There he is. Goes back. And I've got no problems with that. I've got, that's the correct way to do it. Keep your eye on the far side now. Morgan Parra for France. Watch this. Goes offside. Comes back. Exactly the same. Three points. Shot at goal. Let's watch this. Bang. High tackle. That is a penalty. Let's watch again. You come here. Off their feet. Watch. That is a penalty to Dissertoir. <laughs> That's just that unbelievable. That is just a penalty to Dissertoir. And they gave those penalties in New Zealand. Look at Richie McCaw. Now they're playing the ball off their feet. And the French are livid because that's a penalty. This is the one. This is the non-decision. Watch Kano. This is he, shameful if we can, if we can see it from the back. We'll see the reverse angle from the back. Brano, yeah. He actually tells him to release the ball. There. And, and look at, look at yes, Billy. Now that is really bad. I, I'm, I, I don't like talking about this. Look at Kano. Off his, off his feet. And throws the ball forward. And then that player, Poor, is offside. There are four penalties there. But and he refuses to make any decision. Shameful. It is, a shame. shameful. it is shameful. It's a shameful at the World Cup. Unfortunately, it will always be to us New Zealand. It's, it's just so sad we've got to talk about this. And I'm very reluctant to do it. Because it's not... Don't be, Matty. Well, it's not blaming New Zealand. New Zealand deserve it. And then good luck to them. They deserve that have been the best team. It's not about booting New Zealand up. It's saying that France, on that day, like Richie McCaw said... France should have had two or three opportunities to win that game from penalties because New Zealand were infringing. And the referee did not referee both sides with the same... We just showed it. He didn't have the same, no. same rules for both sides. No. That's all you want. And that World Cup was decided on refereeing decisions. And that's right. a really sad thing to say. I, I don't think we're, we're being no. harsh. And, and we, we have to point it. It's our you job to say, so yeah. to say it is. It was a shameful, shameful performance. From, from Joubert. I think the French knew what was going to happen before they went in. I think Paddy O'Brien did brilliantly to make sure that the most benign referee in terms of a, you know, a New Zealand perspective was on the park. He didn't referee them at the breakdown. He was completely inconsistent. And his non, as you say, that's the correct way to call it, his non-refereeing of the, of the breakdown. And you could see the French, they knew exactly what they were going to have to do. They were going to have to play within the rules. I'm not sure what the penalty count was. I'd say it was at least two to one. You know, at half time, I think it was about eight three. Yeah. Uh, he gave a few more penalties to France in the, in, the, in the second half because they were in the ascendancy, because they were making the plays, mm. because they were on top of the game. And uh, that one, that Kano one, was just disgraceful. Yeah, that, you, you that's just, the one. You, you just can't. And that was that was on the 40 meter line. So that was a very kickable penalty for, for Trindu. You know, he missed one. But Fair enough, what you can see the referee saying, we're going to stop on a referee after this. No, but, but no, let's <laughs> keep going. <laughs> no, is it, you, we're on a roll. We don't want to be saying that New Zealand don't deserve this. They do deserve it. But f just equally, France deserved the shot to win it. Yeah. And he just didn't want to be the person making the decision that New Zealand would lose the World Cup. But how, how can that, you... That's why. He abrogated responsibility. Yeah. How can you not... I mean, he was only two or three yards away from you know, from Kano, when Kano went over, over the top, played the ball off his feet, knocked it on, Hoare came on off from an offside position. I mean, three or four penalties. Yeah. So, you know, and, and that was... I'm at a loss. Yeah. I can't, I can't say, so all we can do is point it. And if France, if France had got that penalty, you would, have, you would undoubtedly have seen a situation where he would have brought them back into the game, brought them back into the game, and given them a shot at getting, getting the winning penalty. There, there's no question about it. Well, pre uh, pressure got to everyone. It did. Except France. And you've got to give France credit. Yeah. They played really good rugby. They made it, well, I'm trying to think of the finals, a great final, as in a tense, 